I'm here at South by Southwest 2014, uh, talking with uh, Benjamin from Grind. And one of the things we've been talking about this year at South by is just the exciting explosion in new models of collaboration, new ways that small businesses are collaborating with each other, and even big businesses are collaborating with with smaller businesses and with talented individuals and sourcing kind of new and exciting ideas. Um, Benjamin is the founder of Grind. You know a little bit about that. Well, just a wee bit. <laughs> um, you know, the, the world is changing. Um, and no longer are people chasing, you know, bigger, better. And bigger doesn't always mean better anymore. In fact, um, most of the real talent in the world is driven by passion. And truly passionate people um, are really moving to their own platforms now and are trying to find ways to control their own destiny, live life on their own terms, yet what they still need is an ability to connect to other people like themselves. And that's where the multiplier effect comes in. Before you would go to, say, a big law firm or a big corporation to get that multiplier effect. But now you're finding it in different ways and really ingenious ways. People are collaborating in remarkable venues and places. And it's, uh, the world is changing. It's, it's, it's that simple. Benjamin, tell us tell us your story of how you guys got started because that's kind of a fun, interesting collaboration story. It is. I mean, the, the inter most one of the most interesting things about Grind is it, that it started. It was built out of necessity. Um, basically, I, I had worked. I used to be a lawyer, and I'd worked in a couple of big firms, and then uh, had my. I was a real estate lawyer. I had my own real estate business for a while. Sold that. Became an entrepreneur, uh, but I was frustrated in those. In endeavors because I just couldn't find a professional place to be the entrepreneur I wanted to be, the, the be the consultant that I wanted to be. Um, I was working from home, I was working from friends' offices, I was working from coffee shops, and I had a couple of you know fairly large clients, and it just wasn't cool to meet them at Starbucks. <laughs> So that was sort of the genesis of Grind. But you know, I pulled together um, some partners, and we created through through collaboration. Grind was created. You know, Co Collective, our, our brand strategy company, sort of built the brand. Behance um, helped us, you know, shape the community. Um, Breakfast in New York. Um, uh, CoolHunting.com. Um, we all came together to, to sort of design what became Grind. So the great thing about Grind is we sort of live what we preach. Right. You know, we preach collaboration, but it, and it was created through collaboration. Right. I mean, it, it, right on. I mean, it, it's fascinating to me. I think in the in the social uh, in the social networking age, I, I think this idea of collaborative net, networks that are put together kind of ad hoc to achieve a specific task. You know, I feel like in the past that was viewed as kind of sloppy or the outcome might be somewhat in question. And I feel like we've reached this tipping point now where it's kind of the inverse, right? It's the it's actually the ad hoc networks of uh, different groups of individuals, different businesses that, that kind of pool their collective resources in a really effective way can achieve things that perhaps more static kind of forms of corporate structure sometimes struggle to achieve. I'm, I'm certainly not and say never. I'm not here to like bash, you know, um, corporate ways of doing things. But but it is kind of incredible. I think in the in the connected age that we live in now, it's incredible what you can do, you know, with an ad hoc network of passionate, talented people that just kind of come together on these projects. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. It goes back to my earlier comment, which was. <laughs> People are really trying to seek talent, and talent is truly driven by, really good talent is driven by passion. Yeah. Sure, you can find it in a corporate setting, but it's a lot harder these days to find it in a corporate setting. Much easier to find it in its natural environment, and it is certainly moving towards um, sort of more open forms of collaboration. I mean, Grind is full of people who would rather work in the community than a company. And that is the basic makeup of our membership. 
and those people are, are at grind to follow their passions. They are following their dreams, following their passions. And it, it can be, I mean, in the one hand, I'm the luckiest guy in the world because I get to go to work every day in a room full of 100 people who are all doing something really cool and are really passionate about it. On the other hand, it's incredibly exhausting to live in that room <laughs> because I'm jumping from table to table, talking to my members, trying to connect them because that is my job at Grind is to make sure that a copywriter who just got a huge project from their, their, their main client needs an art director. I need to make sure that connection happens. But uh, you know, talking to all these passionate, enthusiastic people all day long is exhausting. Woe to me. <laughs> but you're having fun doing it. You know, I, I, I think there's another good point that we're kind of touching on here, which is I think a lot of people often come to Grind with a very practical need, right? It's like, I need a space to work out of. And, you know, on face value, you could say, well, it's, it's, it's a slightly cooler looking version of, of any kind of co-working office space. But uh, full disclosure, you know, I've worked out of Grind now for almost two years, which is, which is astounding, actually, when I think about it, because I remember wandering in, it was pretty much off the street, not quite off the street, but pretty much, and, and sort of meeting you and thinking, oh, I'll just try this out for a couple of days, because all you see at first, perhaps, is just the, the, the utility of the space. It's only once you spend some time in there that you realize the real value is in the relationships and the people and the networking, and how, how do you... How do, how do you get that across? I mean, other than talking to me now. Well, well I'll tell you, you, you actually are the perfect example because um, I've seen a lot of people come and go at Grind. And when you showed up, you, you sort of found it interesting and it was a, a very beautiful setting. But you, were, you weren't convinced that it was the place for you and you weren't convinced that there was any there there uh, for you. But after a very short period of time, you became one of our most ardent supporters uh, because you, you realize I mean everybody thinks that we sell you know a desk but no one in at Grind is paying me for a desk and a chair they are paying me for the value that they get out of sitting in that room all day sitting in the room with other talented people who are, are trying to get things done trying to change the world and who are incredibly talented um, and that's the value of grind and it's not lost on us and if it ever it is we'll be out of business very quickly so that's why we're a private members only workspace that's why we interview every person that wants to be a member of grind it's not to be exclusionary or exclusive it's to make sure that the community functions properly and that people can get value out of the room Right. I mean, this, you know, I was talking to uh, Laura and Sarah, who you know, earlier about this, and, and, and you know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's just kind of fascinating how uh, you can go to work each morning and have it be so unpredictable uh, in, in, in such interesting ways, right? There's like literally um, uh, collaborations that you never thought you were going to get into, and, and, and lo and behold, because of serendipitous meeting um, from the person the desk over from you, you know, a whole new vista of projects or opportunities or ideas can, can, can kind of open up. And that, that to me is, is and I know we're, we're in shameless plug mode right now, but, 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 but we actually, I think the reason why we're in shameless plug mode right now is because we actually believe this stuff, you know. It's, it's like we're sort of co-creating, all the members of Grind are like co-creating what Grind is together. And if that isn't a, a new collaborative model, then I, I don't know what is. Right. Oh, I agree. I mean, we listen to our members all the time, and and I say that like um, we had another option. <laughs> um, Grind is full of people who are true, talented, interesting, smart entrepreneurs. Isn't a shy person in the room. So if there's something that they need, or if there's something that's a little out of whack, um, we hear about it, and we hear about it very loudly, and we hear about it very quickly. And you know, our job is to respond to that. 
that um, because we want them to help build the community and help build the environment. We want the environment to be as productive as possible for them. And you know, me and my partners, the grind team, we're all smart and on top of it, but we don't know everything, and we're open to input from. Our and, and, but w w one thing you do know is to create an awesome space uh, at South by for you, for your members to hang out, interact, and and get things done ha down here. So 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 you know we're in this space, love this space in partnership with with Samsung. Another example of collaboration. Um, you know, Samsung wanted you know they've been here for the last four years inside the convention center, trying to cobble together this lounge idea. Bad location, and but they were smart enough to realize that they had to sort of step away from that to really create the right environment for their brand. And they also realized that they needed some help. Yeah. So they brought us in as collaborators because uh, we know how to run a space. <laughs> right, and and right, and, and as a large company, they figured out how through Grind to, to kind of tap into this interesting mix of talented people. And it's no one group or company or partnership that put this together. It's, it's kind of a, a series of, of connection points. So Benjamin, thank you so much for your time. It's great talking with you today. Simon, it was a pleasure.